Good morning. Welcome to JHS Weekly. I'm Kennedy Derry. And I'm Chance Bailey. Joplin High School students are seen a lot more around the hallways, and this is why. Uh, this year, the AB schedule is a thing of the past. Uh, JHS's Lino Sepeda takes a look at why they changed it. The halls of Joplin High School are a bit busier this year. That's because the students are back to going five days a week, and the AB schedule of last year has gone away. Dr. Stephen Gilbert says last year it helped keep the COVID cases down. So the AB schedule was put in place last year uh, because we had been out of school for the entire fourth quarter the year before. And Joplin High School is, as you well know, it's a very, very big school. And he hopes that this year the numbers don't increase. We knew that there was no way that we, as you well know, this year, we could not socially distance 2,300 kids. McGuire Mice is senior and he says he's glad that the AB schedule is gone. I wouldn't go back to the AB schedule because I feel like my grades would slip and when I'm coming here full time, I'm a lot more productive than at home. But McGuire Mine says there were some perks to going every other day. I feel like it gave me a bit of rest in between days and let me catch up on work that I wouldn't be able to during a normal school year. But there were also some downsides. There was more distractions at home compared to school when you're in a learning environment. And Dr. Gilbert says so far this year has been successful and he's cautiously optimistic for the rest of the year. I think the bottom line is, though, it, prob it made it more difficult, uh, you know, because you're only here every other day. So obviously, being in person every day is a much easier way to do s the business of doing school. Reporting for JHD, this is Lena. If you've ever wanted to try to tell a story with pictures in the form of comics or manga, then you might enjoy the JHS Cartoonist Club. Come and learn how to improve your storytelling and drawing skills and how to publish your own comics. New members interested in joining the Cartoonist Club need to get an application from Mr. Wolf in room B201 and return it completed, please. Fall sports are making headlines every week here at Joplin, including our boys' soccer team. Yes, Chance, I got to talk to the soccer team, and this year they're making a huge run for the district championship. Joplin soccer is in full session, and their eight seniors are looking forward to winning another district championship something that hasn't been done since their freshman year. Head coach Joshua Thompson explains this year will be different with how the games are being played. Uh, a lot of the other major sports in the state have moved to that larger district and they're basically skipping the sectionals. And so it used to be with soccer, you'd win your district, go on to the sectionals and move on from there. Now they've combined it all. So winning districts means twice as much because you're essentially winning that next uh, level as well with sectionals. So Their run for districts is now tougher than ever. Grayson Stovern, senior defender, says that his team has their shot but needs to win big in the regular season. This year there's eight teams in our district now instead of four. But if we uh, win a lot of regular season games and get a high seed, I think we have a good chance to win in district, especially with the team we have this year. Being a leader takes responsibility and sacrifice. Whatever it takes to win, you make your team ready for. Gabe Dillion knows how he sets an example for his own players. The best feeling about being a senior is the leadership. The role we have that we have, were begging for freshman year is now right, right in our hands. So the leadership and just knowing that we have the discipline so we can give them discipline, it's going to make it the season great. Andrew Taylor realizes what has made them come up short from that district win the last couple of years. From the past few years, we never really disciplined ourselves enough to get to that point because we fell short last year versus Nixa. Duncan Fogarty says the coaches are encouraging that championship mentality. They're always telling us like this could be our year and so I think it's just like one of those it's mental and you know if we really want it then it's something that we can definitely do. With the season looking bright for these guys coach Thompson believes that this is the best group he's had in a while. Since, since I've been here I think that they get along better than any other group that we've had and every day of practice really is something that we can get a lot out of it. Their practice intensity is great, the camaraderie is great. So be sure to head out and see a game and cheer on your Joplin Eagles. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Kennedy Derry. This has been JHS Weekly. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Oh, 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 oh,